Hey guys, so today I'm going to be building a battery box for uh, my F-150 and uh, I bought this sheet of aluminum. It's a uh, two foot by four foot uh, brushed eighth inch 50-52 for just under 20 bucks from my uh, work and I picked up these two about six inch turnbuckles off of Amazon. That's what I'm going to use to uh, tighten the uh, battery into the battery box. Anyways, it's going to be... If you follow my Instagram, you may have already seen the prototype that I built of this. This is basically just going to be the improved version and it's going to fit battery for my truck. All right, so I've got my templates that I need so far for the uh, basic box. It's gonna be, this is the base. I'm gonna add three quarters of an inch total to this so that it'll um, fit when I have the uh, turnbuckles in here. And uh, this is gonna be the front piece right here, like so. This is gonna be the back which also needs three quarters of an inch added. This one I did right. Then here's gonna be the sides, like so. It's radius so that that turnbuckle can fit in here. And if I'm off a little bit, or I'm mean not off, but when it's coming off, it can pivot. Because if you have like a square that's coming down, the angle that it's coming in is not gonna line up. So now I can start cutting these out of the aluminum and um, these also, two little squares. I have noted, where is it, right here, the changes that I'm going to make. So this is going to have a half an inch, I put one and a half, I don't know why, this is 0.5. Half an inch, this is going to come down. 
So that way, that'll come down with that. I only have one seam to weld instead of building the box, sitting it on here, and then having this seam and that seam only a half inch apart. And like I said, I don't have a bender, or this would be a lot easier. I just cut this off as is right now, and then bend this up, bend this up, and maybe even the sides too, I don't know if you could get in there. Then you'd only have these seams to weld, which would be better, but I don't have that, so I'm going to weld them all up. Alright, let's get to it. Now what I personally like to do is have all my welds from um, uh, on the corners that aren't the main ones. I like to have them running all the same direction and I like to have them running from the edge in. So I'll have them all go this way all the way around. And then after I get those welded, then I like to either come and do these in the same direction like that or I'll take from the uh, back corner, one of the back corners, and run it all the way around so that your stop basically is in a uh, hidden side. So it's whatever you like, but that's the way I like to do it. Well, my wife called in the middle of that weld, but there's that one, um, there's So this is what I have now. My uh, phone was dead so I didn't have any battery to film building these guys. Basically I um, measured the height that I needed, traced out a design that I kind of liked and then it needed to be back two and a half inches and then like two and a quarter here, or maybe two and a quarter here, and one and a quarter here, something like that. And then since I don't have a bender, what I did was I um, clamped a piece of um, angle iron right here with that under it and smacked it with a hammer to get the 45s in there. But after I got this all welded up, I went and checked it, and I should have checked it before, or after I tacked it because this bracket needs to be an inch taller which I didn't notice but if you look that right side's an inch taller and also I thought this was eight inches when I measured it but after I got done welding it and took it over there it didn't fit and I measured and it's seven it needed to be eight so since this one needs to be raised I might have to cut this one <clears throat> and maybe angle it so that I can still 
cover this weld up and have it come out here something like that I'm not sure and then raise it up an inch and hopefully that'll give me enough clearance but moral of the story is once you get tacked check fit everything